Today on People Now, Heather Locklear's ex-fiance speaking out in the wake of the actress's hospitalization for a possible overdose. Ariana Grande celebrates her birthday with fiance Pete Davidson. Being me is my greatest power. Do you get that? Being you isn't your greatest power. Bachelor alum Kayla Quinn is here to help us dig into last night's wild episode <laughs> of The Bachelorette. And look at him go. This dog has gone viral for showing off his CPR skills. You're going to want to watch this amazing pooch all day. It's all coming up on People Now. Hey, that little puppy amazing. is amazing. <laughs> uh, happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to People Now. We hope you have big plans to dash from work to happy hour. Yes, because it is National Tropical Cocktail Day. We it's a thing. We daydreaming about lying on a beach <laughs> sipping something fruity. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. I right? think in the UK, actually, right oh, now. Okay. So, Good perfect. To know. Uh, we want to know <laughs> We want to know what's your favorite tropical cocktail. A pina colada, maybe a little strawberry daiquiri, maybe a margarita or two, maybe a couple Mai Tais. All I great don't options. Know. Let us know by voting in our People Now poll or just tweet us your favorite tropical cocktail with the hashtag people now. Yeah, we're very excited to hear your answers just for some creative ideas. <laughs> uh, but first, here's what you need to know and what's trending for today. Watch. I had a very moving um, tour around Yad Vashem this morning, which really taught me quite a lot more than I thought I already knew about the true horrors of what happened um, to the Jews over the war. Prince William paid his respects to the six million Jews murdered in the Holocaust during a somber visit to Yav Hashem on Tuesday. The royal spent nearly two hours touring the World Holocaust Remembrance Center in Jerusalem, the first stop on his historic tour of Israel and the disputed territories. He wore a traditional kippah on his head as he laid down a wreath to show his respects. Now, inside the center's Hall of Names, which honors those whose resting place is unknown, Prince William read personal details of those who perished and met with several descendants of Holocaust survivors. He then spent time with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife Sarah Netanyahu, telling the royal he must feel very proud that his great-grandmother, Princess Alice, saved defenseless Jews by opening the doors of her Grecian palace during the Holocaust. The prince continued his tour by meeting Israeli, uh, um, excuse me, Israel's President Roy von Rivlin at his residence. The royal said that he hoped to learn more about the Middle East and continue to absorb and understand the different issues, cultures, and religions. This is the first official visit to Israel by a senior member of the British royal family. We will keep you posted on this story on people.com. Well, guys, Jack Wagner is sending his support to his ex, Heather Locklear, amid news of her arrest for allegedly attacking a police officer and an EMT and her hospitalization for a possible overdose. Now, the actor opened up to Entertainment Tonight on Monday saying, we all have our struggles and some of us handle them in different ways. He went on to add that, quote, time will tell, referencing whether Locklear will make the decision to work at getting well. He and Locklear played love interests on Melrose Place and years later found love in real life, too. They began dating in 2007 and got engaged in August of 2011 before calling things off that November. Now, Wagner is currently promoting a new Hallmark Channel movie with fellow Mel Melrose Place alum Josie Bissett, who also spoke to E.T., calling the news about Locklear heartbreaking. She went on to say, quote, we just pray for her and hope she gets through this time. Now, meanwhile, Wagner added, quote, I love Heather and I know Josie feels the same way, so nothing but loving thoughts and prayers for her and her family and her daughter Ava. Locklear shares 20-year-old Ava with ex-husband Richie Sambora. We have even more details about Locklear's arrest and hospitalization. That is coming up in just a bit. Well, guys, The Bachelor creator Mike Fleiss is speaking out after two contestants on his reality series, The Proposal, made headlines for their alleged sexual misconduct. Now, Fleiss, who created that ABC show, The Proposal, tweeted Sunday morning that he's, quote, horrified that any of these abusive bleeps are on our show. He added, we are working very hard to find ways to do better. That was his quote. Now, ABC canceled its second ever episode of The Proposal after serious allegations were leveled against one of its contestants, Michael J. Friday. Friday was accused by a Wisconsin woman for facilitating her sexual assault in early November. ABC and Warner Horizon Productions exclusively telling people they are taking the allegations very seriously. Now, meanwhile, bachelorette suitor Lincoln was convicted of indecent assault and battery for groping a woman on a cruise. The guilty verdict came on May 21st, just days before the season premiered. Warner Brothers saying in a statement, quote, no one on the bachelorette production had any knowledge about the indecent or, char or the incident or charges when Lincoln and Adam was cast. Guys, stay on people.com for more on this story as it continues to develop. And on a lighter note, we're going to be breaking down last night's episode of The Bachelorette with Kayla Quinn, one of our favorites. Nothing is off limits, including that dramatic two-on-one with Jordan and David. So make sure to stick around for that. 
Hey guys, listen, if you're feeling a little down and out today, Poncho the dog <laughs> is here to bring you back to life. Yes, the Madrid Police Department posted this ridiculously adorable video to Twitter. It's showing off their dog Poncho's pretty much pro CPR skills. The caption so is in cute. Spanish. Look at this. Aww. The caption's in Spanish, but it roughly translates to quote heroic performance of our champion Poncho, our companion Poncho, yeah. who did not hesitate. <laughs> also a He's a champion. <laughs> who did not hesitate a moment in saving the life of the agent. Now the video has over 2.3 million views and counting so far. I could watch this over and over again all day. Honestly, it's so precious. It's also <laughs> incredible that the dog could actually save lives in this I way. know. I love that. All right. <laughs> there you go. We'll keep watching it all day. Uh, a little bit later, maybe in the show again. Who knows? Maybe we'll bring it back up. But for now, Star Trek's Angie. Yes. So we are kicking off Star Trek today with a sweet surprise from one of our favorite singers. That is right. Selena Gomez spent her Saturday night on the dance floor of the Children's Hospital of Orange County for its 17th annual oncology prom. The singer even posed for pictures with a few of the kids wearing a black polka dot dress with her singing signature red lip and the prom is a yearly tradition that focuses on supporting teens aged 14 to 19 who are either cancer survivors or currently undergoing treatment providing them a space to celebrate their strength and journey with friends and family which is amazing of course Gomez wasn't the only celebrity who made a special appearance watch this I'm gonna be here dancing my butt off if anyone wants a high five or a selfie I'll just be wandering around and then I'm gonna disappear in a puff of smoke you heard that right, Jack Black also made an appearance and even took the stage to teach the kids a few of his own signature moves. Very fun. A few Grey's Anatomy cast members, including Sarah Drew and Kevin McKidd, joined the festivities and spent the evening taking photos with all the kids on the dance floor. What a wonderful night. All right, moving on to this, Ariana Grande is officially 25, but no need to send gifts. She already has everything she ever wanted in fiance Pete Davidson. Now, Grande wrote on her Instagram story Monday night saying she has no wish while flashing a picture of her iPhone screen at lucky 11, 11 p.m., which showed a smiling Davidson. Grande saying, I have everything I ever wanted. Hi. Grande also shared scenes from her birthday celebration where she was joined by brother Frankie Grande, who loves to dance, and we even got a peek at her cake, which had a childhood photo of the pop star on it. Cute. Davidson came in right at midnight to wish his new fiance a happy birthday with not one but two Instagrams saying happy birthday to the most precious angel on earth. You're my favorite person that ever existed. I love you. Followed by one more for the queen. Words can't express what a real effing treasure this one is. Okay. And to anyone questioning the lightning fast engagement, Grande took Arianators to task on social media for their negativity towards her new love. In one Instagram comment, she addressed a fan who claimed that Pete Davidson raised a middle finger towards Grande's loyal fans in her recent paparazzi photo. She says, are you nuts? Stop with this, please, for real. I love y'all too much for this. Enough with the IG Twitter war thing. It ends now. Well, good for you, Ariana, and happy birthday. Those are your star tracks for today. They can control the situation. Yeah. I like that. Stay with us, guys. Jimmy Fallon taking aim at President Trump in his Tonight Show monologue. We have all the details on that. Plus, sparks were flying on Monday night's The Bachelorette. We're breaking down everything you missed. That is in just a few minutes. Okay, but first, our question of the day is in honor of Tropical Cocktail Day. We went out on the streets of New York to find out what tropical drinks people are into. Take a look at this. The pina colada, because it's uh, because I love cocoa and uh, and yeah, it's very tropical uh, and exotic, and we don't have that in Switzerland. So. <laughs> well, I'm not really a tropical cocktail guy, but I do like a smooth Manhattan drink. My favorite cocktail is Sex on the Beach because uh, I love sex on the beach. <laughs> My favorite tropical cocktail is a pina colada, and that is because it's just so light and refreshing. It's delicious. Ooh, pina colada, obviously, um, because what's better than a lime and a coconut? Okay, ah. pina colada, obviously a favorite there <laughs> for people all over the world. Yeah. <laughs> all right, vote for your favorite tropical cocktail in our People Now poll. We will show the results in a little bit, but now we move on to this. When I saw that Trump insulted me on Twitter, I was going to tweet back immediately, but I thought I have more important things to do. <laughs> then I thought, wait, shouldn't he have more important things to do? He's, he's the president of you. What are you doing? You're the president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Jimmy Fallon taking a jab at President Donald Trump during his Tonight Show monologue on Monday night. Now, in case you missed it, the drama all started when Jimmy revealed on a Hollywood Reporter Awards Shatter podcast that he regrets how he handled Trump's infamous Tonight Show appearance on September 15th, 2016. Yes, yeah, so we all remember that interview. Trump was the Republican presidential nominee back then. They laughed, they joked around. Jimmy even tousled Trump's hair to address those rumors that Trump wears a wig. Now, Jimmy ended up getting a lot of backlash after that segment aired. Some people even accused him of letting Trump dodge hard 
hard-hitting questions about his campaign and of normalizing Trump for voters who were still on the fence about him. Yeah, in the podcast, Jimmy gets a little choked up as he apologizes profusely and admits the fallout from that interview even made him feel depressed. He goes on to call Trump's appearance a mistake, and he says, looking back, that he would definitely do it differently. Yeah, in response to Jimmy's comments, Trump slammed him via Twitter on Sunday, writing in part, quote, be a man, Jimmy. The next day, Fallon clapped back, promising to donate to a Texas-based immigration services nonprofit in Trump's name. Now, obviously, a reference there to Trump's controversial zero-tolerance policy on migrant families. Yeah, in Monday's monologue, Jimmy went on to make a few more jokes at the president's expense and gave a shout-out to First Lady Melania, saying, quote, I don't think your anti-bullying campaign is working. <laughs> Jimmy also saying how crazy it was that the president went after him on Twitter, calling it pretty much the only thing he said I have in common with NFL players. Yeah, so moving on to this, we are talking about everything we know about Heather Locklear's arrest and hospitalization as it stands right now. All right, now follow this story. Locklear was hospitalized on Monday just hours after she was released from jail. A source confirmed to people that paramedics were called to the actress's home to treat the 56-year-old for a possible overdose. Yeah, a spokesperson for the Ventura County Sheriff's Office tells people that deputies and EMTs responded to a medical call at Locklear's home at about 3 p.m. on Monday. The patient, who the spokesperson did not identify, was then transported to the hospital. Now, just a few hours before that, on Monday morning, Locklear was released from custody after being arrested for allegedly attacking a police officer and an EMT. Those authorities had responded to a disturbance call at a residence a little after 11 p.m. on Sunday night. Yeah, the sheriff's office says Locklear was allegedly extremely intoxicated and arguing with friends and family when they arrived. As deputies tried to separate her, she kicked a responding officer. She also allegedly kicked a paramedic in the upper chest area while on a gurney and was booked for two misdemeanor counts of battery. Now, all this is according to statements from the sheriff's office spokesperson. Now, upon her release from jail, the actress was accompanied by her attorney and wore an oversized gray hoodie with baggy pajama pants and sneakers. She didn't respond to, her, to questions uh, from reporters at the scene, but a jail official says that she looked disheveled as she left. Yeah, all this comes after first responders were dispatched to Locklear's home last week, responding to a call from the sheriff's office for a, quote, suicidal person who was violent. Yeah, an incident report obtained by People indicated that the individual who was identified by TMZ as Locklear had previously threatened to shoot deputies and had a handgun registered to her. Now, authorities said the individual was not armed at the time. Following that incident, Locklear was transported to a hospital for a psychological evaluation and was released. Love is the greatest power on earth. Being me is my greatest power. Do you get that? Being you isn't your greatest power. That's why you got to talk about me. You have, though. Do you, you understand that? You've talked about I've your talked about four, what? Tell me what I've talked about. about. Your 4,000 Tinder matches. You've uh -huh. talked about the girls that you would rather date. Talk yeah, about. I, I expect you to stick to your story. Yeah. But it's all fabricated. It's all manipulated. You came in here saying you want to be an honest guy? I am. Be man. an honest guy, man. I'm an like, honest, yeah. genuine person. You honestly, you're you're I uninspiring. Know, I, you lack integrity. You lack passion. You lack charisma. You lack your own personality. Go in the real world and go make a name for yourself before you come to try to ride mine, okay? Funny off. I'm such an honest person, and look, I called you out for the You're worse than you Ari, dude. You're worse than Ari. Ooh, the no. worst dish you could give this season. Honestly. You knew it was going to happen eventually. <laughs> what better way to embrace Sin City than with a little two-on-one fun between a male model and the guy who came Nothing in as a chicken. Better. We are rolling the dice on love in this week's episode of The Bachelorette. Here to help break things down with season 20 cast member Kayla Quinn. Hi, Kayla. Thanks for having me. Great to see you. A yeah. lot went down this episode. That two-on-one, obviously, the biggest highlight. We could it say that. pretty good. Becca ended up sending David home pretty quickly. What did you think of David's strategy going into that whole date? Did, did you trust either of their stories? I don't think he should have led with the I'm going to attack Jordan. Right. That was not the right front. Jordan just gave a little bit about his family, and she really melted over that. So It is never the right move to go no, attack another uh, person. Never. never. In never. the history of the show, has that ever worked? You never. Should, you should have that pep talk with them before every episode. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. And a few hours later, Jordan was sent home, and I was crushed because I, Jordan's my favorite yeah, like, no, right. person of all time. I know. Like, watching this show. I had a tear emoji. He's so funny and, like, ridiculous. What are you going to miss most about Jordan? I'm going to miss his... Um, model poses and all of his fashion tips because Bold honestly undies. I think that some of them are actually good. Yeah. I'm gonna miss how seriously he takes himself. Yeah. I think that's my favorite thing. Being me is my greatest strength or that's whatever. My greatest like power. power. Yeah, yeah. That's, he's that, a superhero. He's just he full of one-liners. So good. Uh, look the drama did not stop there. We got to talk about Chris's meltdown after that group date. Watch yeah. this. I got rejected. I feel like I was left alone and I'm embarrassed. I feel like there was no interest there. Dude, I'm actually shocked, to be honest with you. My theory is, is if you want something, you'll make time for it. And so, just shows that um, I'm going home this week, so. 
That's a pretty drastic out of that. If you want to believe that you're going to go home, then you can believe you want to go home. But I don't have a rose on my chest either. So this felt like a meltdown to me. I don't know about you, Kayla. Like, yeah. He's very cocky. He didn't even try to steal one on one time. I mean, you've been there. Do you sympathize with him and him feeling very comfortable? I mean, or do you think he's like a loose cannon and maybe emotionally unstable like Garrett says? I can sympathize with him, but he could honestly, he should actually just hold it in. He was so insecure and it really showed tonight. And the thing is, you just have to be calm and cool. There were some nights that I didn't talk to my lead and I didn't make a big deal about it, but he's just having a temper tantrum and it's really self-destructive. Yeah, he does attempt to though, at least make up for his mistakes after Rebecca makes it very clear that she does not want a flimsy partner, which <laughs> yeah. was kind of funny. But yeah. of course, get ready for a pun. Okay. When there's a wills, <laughs> there's not always a way. I really like that fun. Oh. Thank you. you ready your time tonight? I I'd like to have my time as well. Wills, can I please have some? I gave you two minutes, man. I understand that. I'm gonna ask you politely to get up, please. Wills, I can't get like a couple more minutes. No. I'll come find you. I'll come talk to you in a bit. I'll come find you. I will. Stand off. Oh, wow. Now, do you think Will should have been a little more sympathetic, or do you think <laughs> Becca kind of respected him standing his ground? Becca totally respected him standing his ground, and she wants someone who can defend her, and this was the best moment of the night. I, so I think Becca likes like big, strong guys. I do yeah. too. I think that that was a turn on for her. Yeah. I think, I think all of America like thought also it. needed to see this because this is what a man should act like when he's defending his woman. Yeah. So I'm glad for women everywhere okay. they get to have this standard. By the way, <laughs> just, I know. Uh, oh, yeah. also just watching the show in general, it's one of the most annoying things that happens. Yeah. Is the the whole stealing the time and all that stuff. And, and so exactly. yeah, I, I would just generally for the way the show works, glad that that it went down this way. Yeah. I one agree. relationship certainly not hurting Becca and Blake's. Let's take a look at this. I am falling in love with you. Mm -hmm. I really am. I like hearing that. That's so right. I am feeling like the happiest girl in the world. Such a complete 180 from the last group date. When I hear those same words, it just gives me the exact opposite feeling and it makes me so happy. It just feels so natural and so right. I am falling in love with Blake. Oh my gosh, this is why the show is so great because I feel like so happy for her. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of his extra one on one time and that relationship? Because it seems like Becca's really fallen for him. I like him. I think, yeah, yeah, me too. I do think it's really sweet and I think it's, yeah, I, I think it's nice the producers are encouraging this relationship and it's nice to see that she's falling for someone early on. There's yeah. a genuineness to it and let's just note, not to overanalyze, but this episode was a turning point in terms of Kiss style. Yeah. She's finally yeah. giving in. Kiss. That was, was a good Because they've been awkward up until now. Like she's been very, she's you're, been like, you're all about the technique. She's like, what, yeah. In the hot tub. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, that's right, because another guy, Colton, she really opened up to him yes. and laid on the kisses and everything, too. Okay. He opened up about his relationship, we're assuming, with Ali Raisman. Take a look at this. I've only been in love once, so it was hard for me because you don't feel like you're enough. Right. Or you feel like you're missing something. How did the relationship end? Um, she broke up with me. Okay. Just completely out of yeah. the blue? Um, yeah, I think that's sort of why, for me, being in love has confusion and pain associated with it. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to think just because I've only been in love once that it's in any way like a bad thing. Okay, so what do you think, Ailey? Like, he's only been in love once and it ended last year. Is Colton really ready for something serious here? I don't know, I had a whole eye roll this whole entire scene just because there's something we're missing in this story. She broke up with him and he didn't know why. I feel like she probably told him something that we're not knowing. We gotta move on, but I think that he was just, I think he's being odd about, he doesn't wanna open up. Like, anyway, yeah, yeah, all right, strange. this yeah. is just in, guys. We have the official cast of Bachelor in Paradise. Woo! Kayla, are you ready for this? Yes, I'm Here, ready. Here are some of the top reveals, <laughs> starting off with this one. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like Jordan will be packing those golden undies. Woo! Julie and David are both shipping off to Paradise. What do you think? 
think? Oh my goodness, this is going to be drama, drama. And I'm, could have seen this coming a I'm thousand miles away. I'm definitely tuning in if those two are back. Honestly. Well, they are, they are back. They're, so they're, 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 you will be there. I will be watching. Grocery store Joe and John the Venmo guy will also be attending. I think everyone on Twitter is going to be loving this duo. Kayla, what do you think? Oh my gosh, I'm already crushing on Joe's grocery store Joe because he looks like my boyfriend. Yes, yeah. that is so true. Yes. <laughs> very similar. Um, true. And Ashley Eyes ex Kevin from Bachelor Winter Games will attempt to find his own soulmate in Mexico. What do you think about him going there? Um, I think the girls will love him because he's beautiful. He is beautiful, okay. yeah. Well, okay, I that's mean, that. that's, that's sorry. <laughs> we'll see what else happens. Need some eye candy. Can't for, forget about the most hated villain of all time, Crystal. All right, what trouble is she going to stir up in paradise? How do you think she's going to fit in the mix? Crystal's going to thrive here because there's so many different men that she could just focus on her own, and yeah. she won't be stealing everybody, hopefully. Yeah. Crossing my fingers. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, Tia will be showing off that accent in Mexico. Will she get over Colton? Will Colton pop up down the line? A lot of questions. What do you think about Tia going back? Um, she's gonna find love. I have a feeling for this one. Last yeah. but not least, our bartenders, Yuki from Bachelor in Paradise and Wells will be manning that bar this year. <laughs> so funny. Very excited to see them. Will Sarah Highland show up? We don't know. That's I what you're saying. Yeah. Great, you know, uh, kind of in the same family. I think ABC. Yeah. It looks like it looks like. You a, think maybe Sarah would show up? Oh, I hope so. I don't think is so. Is he great I, She's filming a movie. <laughs> like yeah. she's got some things yeah. going yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> she might be. Missing. Hey, the powers that be at the Bachelor series, they can so, do anything. So yeah. let's please let her show up. Yeah. Um, guys, uh, people continuously roll in paradise. We will see if it's not only her, maybe some other familiar faces. We have a lot of information about this at people.com. The full cast reveal is there. Kayla, thank you for thank uh, being you. here with us. Thanks for having me. You guys, me. let's take one last peek at our tropical cocktail. People now pull. We do the very important polls here. This is who won? What won? The margarita. margarita. Look at that. That sounds so shocking. Pina colada number two, strawberry daiquiri, and then the old Mai Tai. Mai tai. Barely Dude, hanging on. Wow. Kayla Quinn, what's your vote? Uh, mine would be the margarita too. All right. Less okay. calories. Yeah. All right, hey, guys. Well, yeah. well, this has been this has been fun. <laughs> yeah, thank um, you guys. Maybe we'll happy. make it down that list today yeah. since it is National Tropical. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Guys.